Hey guys, I'm Nathan, and welcome to Money Matters. In today's video, we'll be looking at five insane things you don't know about Dr. John Campbell. First on the list is he's the Associate Director of Research and Development at the Scottish National Blood Transfusion Service. Dr. John Campbell has been in the medical circle for a long time, and during this period, he has amassed a wealth of information pertaining to the human body. He's a skilled nurse and nursing instructor who took on many students in the beginning of his career. He's also an oncology expert who specializes in blood cancers. Two, he began his career with a nursing diploma. Having completed his secondary school, Dr. John Campbell joined the University of London in 1982 to pursue his diploma in nursing. He performed exemplary well before pursuing different certificate courses in subsequent years. Dr. John obtained a certification in tropical diseases and another in nurse education. Three, he has two degrees, an MSc and a doctorate. Dr. John had a keen interest in learning and he took the opportunities presented to him to study. He obtained three degrees in various fields, with his first being a bachelor's degree in arts. He then joined the Open University in 1986 to pursue a degree in biology and health. In 1995, he pursued a postgraduate certificate in pharmacology from the University of Lancaster. Four, he has more than 50 publications in his name. Through the years, Dr. John Campbell has conducted research in numerous fields of medicine, and he has had a number of articles published. His extensive research had reached many people throughout the world and has been instrumental in facilitating various breakthroughs in medicine. He continues to do loads of research that he shares with the public on his YouTube channel from time to time. 5. He started recording medical videos in the early 90s. Even though his popularity grew when he started his YouTube channel, Dr. John Campbell started recording various videos in the early 90s. The tape recordings would be sold in England and many other countries, and were instrumental in allowing students in remote areas to receive valuable information in their studies. Today, he's able to reach a lot more people thanks to recording technology and the internet. Thanks for watching.